Hello, this is uh, an introduction to pressure reducing valves um, as shown by these symbols. So here we've got the input and the output and uh, start up under normal conditions the flow goes straight through and you get the same pressure on both sides but as the pressure increases we sense the pressure back through here uh, to what Whatever the spring setting is, it pushes the valve over and shuts off the flow. So we can then get a higher pressure on the input than we do on the output. So what we're trying to achieve with this valve is a constant pressure on the output as set by this spring. And you can tell the difference between a reducing valve and a relief valve by, on the reducing valve, this line comes from the output, where the arrow is pointing. On a relief valve, it would come from, on the input side, and uh, limit the pressure and obviously the valve is drawn in mid position rather than a relief valve that's drawn here. Now there are other versions, this is another common version of reducing valve and the difference here is that we've got the arrow in both directions and a third line so what this does is if we do get load changes so we get a pressure coming from the load that would increase above our set pressure the flow has to go backwards to relieve that pressure and keep it down so in this case we vent off to a third line and uh, it maintains that at the set pressure um, whatever the load's doing and more control from the load so those are basically it. the other important point is this um, the drain line with pressure relief or reducing valves you need to have a reference pressure because they can only work reference to another pressure and if it, that needs to be atmosphere then what you do is you vent back through a drain line to tank so it's always um, you always have to know where your drain pressures are your reference pressures so let's look at a couple of um, designs uh, cartridge designs common as usual or the uh, C-top platen mounted um, this version is direct operated so we can see there's um, the control pressure here is working directly against the spring so it's called a direct operated valve in this version we've got the pressure is actually working against this pilot so a small pilot valve and a small spring and then the main spool that unloads the main spool and moves the main spool so that's a two-stage valve or pilot operated valve um, this is commonly our industrial version and we can see a lot more detail in the poppet so we're going to get much better um, flow characteristics we've got a lot more control from the little galleyways putting our offices in to control damping and speeds and performance and a nice big large poppet to give um, larger flows potentially so there are differences between the industrial and the um, and the cartridge valves uh, finally just a look so you can recognize what they look like we'll get the cartridge valves that go in either line mounted manifolds or custom manifolds um, and here's a an industrial style of valve in a line mounted body and our C-top platen mounted style of valve now uh, <coughs> let's have a little experiment it's always good to try things to see how they work. So in this simulation make sure you've got the reducing valve option set because there are lots of different valves in this simulation and what happens if we increase the uh, supply pressure we reach a point 90 around 90 bar where our, our loads lifting and now we've got a reducing valve so at the moment we've got the same pressure right the way through the valve but if we open our reducing valve now we've got a little pilot here that we're, we're controlling the pressure on the pilot and now we can see we've set that to 50 bar so our load is starting to drop again so we've shut off the supply pressure and we've got a lower pressure on the um, output side of the reducing valve and that's basically what it does it reduces the pressure um, wind it up again and we set our reducing pressure at 80 bar and we lift our load again so that's quite simply in its basic form what a reducing valve does.